Hello and welcome to a lesson on mixed number addition and subtraction. This lesson builds on the work we did in fractions, equivalence, addition and subtraction. But this time, instead of dealing with simple fractions, we deal with mixed numbers. And a mixed number is a number that's part whole number, part fraction. And I'm going to work through three examples of addition and three examples of subtraction. First example. 3 and a quarter plus 2 and a fifth. And what we do here is we first add the whole numbers. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And then we add the fractions, a quarter plus a fifth. So we need a common denominator. The lowest common denominator for 4 and 5, the lowest number 4 and 5 going to is 20. Now I'm putting both fractions in 20ths. What have I done to the 4? I've multiplied it by 5. So I do the same to the top once 5 is 5. In other words, a quarter is 5 twentieths. Plus, what have I done to the 5? I've multiplied it by 4. So do the same to the top once 4 is 4. In other words, a fifth is 4 twentieths. And now I just have to collect the twentieths together. I've got 5 whole numbers. And 5 add 4 is 9, so 5 and 9 twentieths. Example 2. Add the whole numbers. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Now we want a common denominator for the two fractions. 5 and 3, the lowest number they will go into, is 15. 5 times 3. Now put the two fractions in fifteenths. What have we done to the 5? We've multiplied it by 3. So times the 4 by 3. 4 threes is 12. Plus, what have we done to the 3 to get 15? We've multiplied it by 5. So do the same to the top. 2 fives are 10. Important to realise here that all we're doing is rewriting these fractions in fifteenths. 4 fifths is 12 fifteenths and 2 thirds is 10 fifteenths. Now we collect our fifteenths together, we've got five whole numbers. Twelve add ten on the top gives twenty-two. So we've got five and twenty-two fifteenths. But we don't want to leave it like that because that's an improper fraction. Fifteen fifteenths make a whole number, so I'll have an extra whole number. So we add one to the five, we've now got six whole numbers. And if I use up fifteen fifteenths, there'll still be another seven to take us up to twenty-two. So the answer is 6 and 7 fifteenths. Moving on now to example 3. 5 and 3 quarters add 2 and 2 thirds. 5 plus 2 is 7. Deal with the whole numbers first. Now find a common denominator for quarters and thirds. The lowest number 4 and 3 go into is 12. We've multiplied the 4 by 3 to get 12, so do the same to the numerator, the same to the top of the fraction, 3 threes and 9. Plus, we've multiplied the 3 by 4, so do the same to the top, 2 fours are 8. So that gives me 7 whole numbers, 9 add 8 is 17, so it's 7 and 17 twelfths. And just as in the previous example, we've got an improper fraction there. 12 twelfths make a whole number, so we'll get an extra whole number, which will be eight whole numbers. And if I take 12 twelfths out of there, there'll be another five left. So it'll be eight and five twelfths. We'll move on now to look at three subtraction examples. Again, we deal with the whole numbers first, because let's suppose you had four and three quarter pounds, that's four pounds 75 and you had a bill to pay of one and one-fifth pounds, which would be one pound twenty. Typically, the way you choose to do that is you pay the pound out of the four pounds, and you pay the twenty pence out of your seventy-five pence. And that's what we do here. We say four take away one is three, deal with the whole numbers, and then we subtract the one-fifth from the three quarters. So common denominator for four and five is twenty, We've multiplied the 4 by 5, so times the top by 5, 3 fives are 15. Minus, because we're subtracting this time, what have I multiplied the 5 by to get 20? I've multiplied it by 4, 
So do the same at the top, once four is four. So that gives me three whole numbers. 15 take away four is 11, so it's three and 11 twentieths. Two more examples to go. Number five, six and three tenths minus four and three quarters. Let me talk about money again. Three tenths of a pound is 30p. So suppose you had six pound 30 and you have a bill to pay that's four and three quarter pounds, four pounds 75. Now we've all been in this situation in a shop. We pay four pounds out of the six pounds, but we haven't got enough change, 30 pence, to pay the 75 pence in the bill. And what we have to do then is break into another pound. And a very similar thing happens when we're dealing with mixed numbers. So let's start by saying six take away four is two. And then we look to deal with the fractions. Lowest common denominator of 10 and four. What's the lowest number 10 and four will go into? They'll both go into 20. So let's put our fractions in 20ths. I've multiplied the 10 by two. So let's times the top by two. Three twos is six minus, I've multiplied the four by five, so times the top by five, three fives are 15. Now here you see the difference, we have a problem. Six take away 15, I haven't got enough to take 15 away from. So what we do is we borrow one of these whole numbers and there'll only be one left. But if I borrow a whole number, how many extra 20ths do I get? I get an extra 20 twentieths. That's why we call them twentieths. So I'm going to write 20 plus here because I get an extra 20. And now let's see what we have. We've got one whole number and I've got 20 add 6 is 26. 26 take away 15 is 11. So I've got 1 and 11 twentieths. Let me go through that again. 6 take away 15 I couldn't do. I borrowed a whole number. If I borrow a whole number and it's in twentieths, I get an extra 20. So I could add 20 to the six, then take the 15 away, and I'm left with 11 twentieths. Let's have a look at example six. Same kind of thing will happen. Nine take away two, deal with the whole numbers first. Nine take away two is seven. Common denominator for three and five. The lowest number three and five will go into is 15. What if I multiply the 3 by to get 15? I've multiplied it by 5, so do the same to the top. Once 5 is 5. Minus, what have I done to the 5 to get 15? I've multiplied by 3. Do the same to the top. 3, 3 is 9. Same sort of problem. 5 take away 9, I can't do. So I'm going to borrow a whole number. And if I borrow one of those 7, there'll only be 6 left. Well, if I borrow a whole number, how many extra fifteenths does it give me? It gives me an extra 15 fifteenths. So let's write 15 plus at the front. I've got another 15 now. So I'll have six whole numbers. And how many fifteenths? Well, I've got 15, add 5 is 20, 20 take away 9 is 11. So my final answer is 6 and 11 fifteenths. Now that concludes our short look at mixed number addition and subtraction. You'll now find an exercise with five questions on each.